Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and I'm here with a new unboxing of, well, an expansion. And this came as a surprise to me, honestly, the Alien, well, the Legendary Encounters Alien Covenant expansion. I was browsing through the Gen Con release list, and, uh, well, when I was doing my uh, most wanted list of that convention, and apparently this was coming out. I didn't know that, so... Luckily for me, I had someone uh, that I knew in the United States who likes cats, like you do, and um, she. Uh, I asked her if she could bring a copy of this to uh, Greece on vacation because she was going there as well, and she did, so thank you for that, Sharon. Anyway, a new expansion for Legendary Encounters Alien, one of my favorite games. I, I haven't seen that much information about it yet, so I decided to show you. So, no one understands the lonely perfection of my dreams. I found perfection here. I've created it, a perfect organism. So, the perfect, the perfected expansion, this perfected expansion to the legendary encounters family of games allows players to band together as the crew of the colonization ship Covenant and fight their way through the dire necropolis on the planet 4, rife with infectious egg sacs and David Eight's hybrid xenomorphs. Play through notorious scenarios from the critically acclaimed movie, well, or combine with elements from other legendary encounter deck building games to create your own unique terrifying experience. Above all else, work together or die trying. So in this small box there are 200 playable cards and a rule sheet as you can see. And of course you need a base game to play this. Ages 17 and up because it has some well, pictures that you don't want young children to see, I guess. One to five players, 30 to 60 minutes, which is, of course, the thing that's, well, the length of a base game. All right, let's open this game or this expansion. So it comes with this kind of box. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, let's see what's inside of this. Oh, this is a special box. So it also has a fl flippy thing like this. And then we get the stuff. So let's get the stuff out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to make it more easy and to let you show the still the, the box here. So it comes with, as they say, a rule paper sheet, whatever. Uh, so it's, it's two sided, two sides, uh, and it tells you it's about the new movie. They have some new characters. There's a new hive, um, new strike drones, and agenda cards. Um, which you can, the new strikes you can just add to the base game, which is, I always like that, more vari variability, more different stuff. Um, there are also a handful of new drones, uh, <laughs> including some new soldiers that will make the game even harder, because that's what the game needed. There's a new covenant keyword, so that apparently allows you to pair up two characters by adding them to your deck at the same time. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep in what is you can pause the game if you want uh, the video if you want and read it um new queen mother cards uh, a new drone chart apparently and uh, hard mode <laughs> soldiers queen mother mode some new uh, card qualifications there you go all right so that's the sheet with the rules and stuff let's go and check these cards Let's see where the thingy is. It's ah, uh, it's here. Okay, it's one of those good ones that open pretty easily, unless you have a camera in front of you, then you still start messing it around. Okay, so let's see. This is a new character, the Navigator. You start the game with chart a course in your deck, which is this card. It lets you activate, look at the top three cards of your deck, discard any and put the rest back in order. So he can manage this deck a little bit better. We have a pilot, which comes with I'm coming from you for you. You may put the next card you recruit this turn on the bottom of your deck. Communications officer is a new one as well. Activate, choose one other player or another player. Each of their grunts and specialists has coordinate this turn. Pretty neat. Uh, Biologist, I've never seen anything like this. Activate, heal a total of 
up to two damage from strikes from the teams. Nice, a healer, which is always useful. We have the Terraformist. No place like home. Look, oh, I'm sorry. Look at a hidden card in the complex. Always very interesting. So apparently we have the Planet 4 location now, with some new hazards, of course. We have the Planet 4 location for hard mode. Yes, you do. Then we have objectives like the rogue transmission, where you have to investigate the transmission. We have the rogue transmission. Oh, that's the same. This is for hard mode. So you have multiple cards for normal mode and hard mode. We have objective goals. Reveal, put this, okay, I'm not going to spoil too much. You can always pause if you want to read more, but these are exacts. You, if you have seen the movie, some things might be um, recognizable, you might know that. Do make yourself at home, objective number two. Uh, and hard mode as well, of course. Some new critters, striking xenomorphs and hunting xenomorphs. We have a character, David, in here, and so on. So I'm not going to show you all of it in detail but this is the lonely perfection of my dreams a new objective with of course a hard mode there we have some new xenomorphs and i'm just going to show you the artwork a little bit so i guess maybe 17 plus is it might be a judge exaggerated you have these creatures with the red border i guess that's for the hard mode as well uh but still it's it can be quite graphic, so yeah, it's not for everyone, I guess. But still, cool new strikes, like an identified life form. Some new enemies with aliens and bloodburster neomorphs. Uh, the enemy, David enemy, which might be something special. I'm, I'm curious about what this is all about. So that's a bunch of cards, I guess these are a hundred approximately and let's kick the other one all right so full ecology workup so these are new uh, characters that you can get so we have Karin or Karen the biologist uh, let's see we have Captain Dram it has been a while since I watched the movie, so uh, I don't remember all the characters, honestly. But we have Cap Captain Dram with his cards. We have Chief Terraformist Daniels with some Covenant cards, so the new thing, which I still have to figure out what it exactly does. Let's see, what, what else do we have? We have the Pilot Tennessee who's coordinating quite a bit apparently and lets you draw cards Sergeant Lope or Lopey, I don't know uh, which has these new symbols here it might be the Covenant symbol, I don't know so you, this one you have to play one of these types of cards to activate the special ability also has some Covenant cards we have Walter Walter 1 which is also a character here apparently that you can buy stuff of. We have some more xenomorphs, some infants and some pathogen spores. You all remember the spores. They're dangerous folks. Keep away from the spores. There you go. So that's it. That's all the cards that come into this game. A bunch of them. 200 cards. Pretty cool. I'm happy to add them to my game of uh, Alien Encounters, Legendary Alien Encounters. So that's what's in this small box. I honestly cannot remember the price because I got a total price for the games uh, that my friend took for me from Gen Con. Uh, but anyway, this is the newest expansion. Uh, can't wait to play it. Maybe, who knows, I will do a, might do a playthrough in the future. We'll see. Anyways, thank you for watching this playthrough. If you liked it, feel free to thumbs up. If you want to see more on this channel and you're not subscribed yet, feel free to push that subscribe button or even the bell if you want to get a notice when I put something online. And of course, maybe you've played this already. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And what did you think of the movie? Let me know as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.